This morning, every frame of Astro World Fest video painting a more disturbing picture of the deadly crowd surge and scrutiny on the response to the massive crowd. Houston police say more than 500 officers and 750 security guards were on site. Yet even with two reported emergency plans, it wasn't enough. Houston's police chief even visiting Scott personally before the show, expressing concerns regarding public safety. Somewhere in this crushing sea of fans, eight victims who lost their lives. One of them, 21-year-old Axel Acosta. The weight of the crowd literally suffocating him. Axel died as a result of a phenomenon known as crowd rush. His father, heartbroken. I lost my son. It could be you. It could be you. The family joining a growing number of lawsuits. What was happening inside that crowd? Just a complete loss of control. I mean, like, even I'm a big guy and I couldn't, I couldn't control where I was going. While not accused of doing so Friday, Scott's no stranger to inciting crowds. In 2015, the rapper pled guilty to reckless conduct after allegedly encouraging fans to rush the stage in Chicago. And in 2017, similarly pled guilty to disorderly conduct after allegedly urging fans to jump barricades at an Arkansas concert. After Friday's tragedy, Scott said he was devastated, announcing he will cover all funeral costs and provide further aid. The Blunt family praying for all the help they can get. Nine-year-old Ezra was on his father Treston's shoulders before falling into the crowd. The crowd just starts going crazy and Treston goes, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Now Ezra is in a coma, his hopeful family by his side. It's just a lot of things that could have prevented that. And it's, it's really no excuse for it. And we've learned this morning that Travis Scott will not be performing at this weekend's Day in Vegas event. The pop star saying that he is too distraught to play. He is also promising to fully refund anyone who bought a ticket to the Astroworld concert. And we're hearing from popular star Drake as well, who was set to perform that Friday night. He's saying that he is heartbroken for all the families and friends of those who lost their lives. Savannah? Morgan, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.